Hi, I'm glad you could join me for prayer today. It's from chapter 5, 1 through 20. They came to the other side of the lake of the Gerasenes, and when he had stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any more, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains, he's, chains he ripped apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces. And no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stone. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him. And he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you done with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he said to him, Come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What is your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send him out of the country. Now there was on the hillside a great herd of swine was feeding and the unclean spirit begged him send us into the swine let us enter them so he gave them permission and the unclean spirit came out and entered the swine and the herd numbering about two thousand rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned the swine herd ran off and told it in the city and in the country then people came to see it see what it was that had happened they came to jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there clothed in his right mind the very man who had had the legion and they were afraid those who had seen what had happened to the de demoniac and to the swine reported it then they began to beg jesus to leave their neighborhood as he was getting into the boat the man who had been possessed by the demons begged him that he might be with him but jesus refused and said to him go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy God has shown you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. So I invite you to take a deep breath in and to release your breath. And on your breath, use the breath prayer. How much the Lord has done for me. How much the Lord has done for you. How much the Lord has done for you. And I want you to think about that. I want you to think about what God has done for you. Recall all those times and moments when God has touched you, when you experience the presence of the Holy, when the mystery that is wrapped you up. And now take a moment to breathe in and out on the second phrase. What mercy God has shown you. What mercy God has shown you. What mercy God has shown you. I invite you to picture in your head mercy that you have received, forgiveness that has washed through you, times when what you thought was a horrible action has been forgiven.
Holy One, as we stopped here and thought about what you have done, as we thought about the mercy we have received, we ask your presence among those that are on our hearts and in our minds. We ask you to be with those we know who are suffering from an illness, who need your love and healing presence. We ask you to be with those we know who are in a state of anxiety and worry. May they feel your healing presence. And Holy One, we need your presence in this world, in all the places that are hurting, the places experiencing flooding and fires, the places where illness is running rampant, the places where hate seems to be guiding everyone's actions. Holy One, show us what you can do and what you have done and show us those places of mercy and bring your mercy upon us. Amen.